you guys. I'm pretty sure Jason Momoa watched our show yesterday because yeah. we had a very deep discussion about beards and the bacteria they bring. Mm -hmm. And well, we all saw that video that he shaved it all off. I know, uh, it's because of us, and I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I mean, yeah, well, you know what's really funny because you're a big Jason Momoa huge. fan, and yesterday you were like, "Ew, beards are gross," and look what he did. I mean, he could get it either way; it doesn't matter yeah. I know, whether I he has a beard or so not. Good. I don't know. Um, I actually like this. Like, I like the little stubble he left there. I mean, he looks really adorable there. Yeah. And I think when he grows back, just like the perfect little goatee, it'll be good. Well, it, it's kind of fun, <laughs> funny that it is, though he's been off Game of Thrones for several <laughs> years, Carl Drogo is officially gone with his beard being gone. Yeah. He says he hasn't shaved it since 2012. I know. And of course, he grew it for that iconic role. Now Game of Thrones is ending. And but then every the role beard. he's had, like he's on this show yeah. called like, Frontier, and he plays like this outdoorsy guy, and he has a beard, and then I Aquaman. Think he's been typecast a little bit, so I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. maybe he'll start like wanting to go for more delicate roles. I, I don't think. know. I don't think it looks like him anymore. I yeah. know. <laughs> I mean, do you think he can play like a Disney prince now? Like he's like super clean cut? Maybe. Um, <laughs> I don't, his hands are so big and massive. Yeah, I, I don't know if he could be like a real prince. He's uh. still scary. I feel like if he tried to pick, uh, pick up a princess, he'd just crush her. <laughs> By accident, he'd be like, oops. Woman here. Yeah.